it's going to be a boom because that that crazy looking vehicle has already shown its popularity on pre-orders two years why? ago. Why? Why? I want one. I think they're nuts. And I think it would be a lot of fun to drive a tank because that, that's what it is. But now a tank where you don't have to feel guilty about it. It's an EV. Mm. But it's got a lot of room. It's a very interesting vehicle. It's got a really ugly look. Ugly is interesting. And, you know... To be honest with you, I've got investments uh, in providers that are providing technology for that truck, and we know the demand is huge. Mm. It's huge. Now, this issue around four-wheel versus two-wheel, sure. if he comes with a two-wheel first, there'll still be demand for it, because the truth is most people don't drive these trucks off-road. But if you wanted to drive that thing off-road, you could. I like it, and I think um, you know I'm on the list to get one. Mm. The EV market has been quite competitive recently. However, the growth rates of the leading EV companies like Tesla have not decelerated. The same thing applies to their stocks. According to O'Leary, he considers the free cash flow and balance sheet of a company rather than focusing on comment about its stock. Kevin O'Leary, who is a one-time Tesla bear, earlier loaded up more Tesla shares and made over a thousand percent on his investment. Although the Tesla bull had at some point sold some of his Tesla shares, he had quite a valid reason for doing so, which is in no way bearish on the stock. O'Leary has said multiple times that Tesla is not only a car company, but also a data company. And this may in fact be true. More importantly, he's disclosed that Tesla's Cybertruck could be the revolutionary car that the company needs to completely beat its competition. We're digging into a lot of top stories today, and Proz, I know you have your eye on Tesla. Over the weekend, we finally saw something from Giga Austin, the first Cybertruck uh, rolling off the, it said they were built, it was built in uh, Giga Austin, maybe not coming off the assembly line, but the first Cybertruck there shown this weekend on Saturday. So big news there, stock tra charging higher here, because the company is seemingly on, uh, on slated to kind of go into production of this truck later this quarter, limited quantities, and hold that potential customer delivery event at the end of the quarter that Musk was talking about. So big news there for them. We'll see if this car that came off the line was actually just a pre-verification build, which is something that just goes to the line, see if it comes out okay. They won't sell it to customers, perhaps. We'll see, but still good news. Interesting to look at just tracking estimates, right? And we love talking about Wall Street estimates and what these different analysts are putting out there. Mm. There are three analysts compiled by Bloomberg already that have expectations for sales of the Cybertruck in 2023. The average, the consensus of that is over 3,000 sales of the mm. Cybertruck mm -hmm. in 2023. It is wow. July. So I'm just curious what we actually see come Q3, Q4. Those projections are for 70,000 Cybertrucks to be sold in 2024. So this is a legitimate part of the Tesla growth story now and where the company is headed for them to start selling these trucks. So it'll be interesting to see when we do start, it's good that they're being built. The Tesla Cybertruck has generated significant attention and anticipation since its unveiling. Its unconventional design and cutting edge features have sparked discussion on the future of pickup trucks and the potential for electric vehicles to dominate the market. Despite its initial polarizing exception, the Cybertruck's unique design and impressive performance have undoubtedly made it stand out among the competition, pushing the boundaries of what is possible for the pickup truck segment and solidifying Tesla's position as an innovator in the automotive industry. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Tesla investor Kevin O'Leary is expecting the Cybertruck release this year to be a boom, despite holding some reservations about the vehicle's aesthetic. In a recent interview, he noted that the vehicle had already demonstrated its popularity two years ago, when pre-orders increased massively. According to him, Cybertruck is an interesting vehicle, even though it's not physically appealing. He also added that he has investments in companies that are providing technology for the Cybertruck, citing that the demand is huge. Kevin O'Leary is a famous entrepreneur and businessman from Canada, and he's best known as Mr. Wonderful throughout his appearances on the US business pitching reality show Shark Tank. He's also the strong business tycoon, with an eye for lucrative investments, and this could be one reason why he's invested in Tesla. Over the years, O'Leary has become a trusted investor with a good grasp on investment strategies and market development. So as an investor, you may want to listen to what he has to say, and this is it. But before we carry on, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Kevin O'Leary is also one of the fundamental strategic investors who is optimistic about the stock market and Tesla stock in particular. 
According to him, he holds a maximum allocation of 5% in any individual stock. And when the stock goes up and passes the 5% allocation, he sells. This is quite evident since O'Leary has sold his shares after an increase in Tesla's share price at the time. Given his several bullish statements about Tesla, O'Leary's comments, both now and in the times before, may suggest that buying Tesla stock could be a good way to secure high returns in the future. His recent comments about the Cybertruck have been more bullish. Several analysts are particularly keen on Tesla's Cybertruck, and believe that the electric vehicle will be a game changer for Tesla, just like any other car that the company makes. Stock investor and asset manager Brett Winton has previously noted that Tesla is at least three to four years ahead of the industry in driving transitions to EVs, and the car company will continue to drive down costs as they increase production. Brett Winton has been very bullish on Tesla over the years, and believes that EVs will dominate the car market in the next five years. According to him, by 2027, there's going to be around 60 million electric vehicles sold, with Tesla producing a large percentage of this figure. He's also noted that if Tesla successfully produces this low-cost EV, it will once again set the standard for the EV market, just as it's done with previous models. Winton particularly expects that if Tesla can achieve full self-driving, then it will be a huge game-changer for the automaker. When he gave his take on innovation and how this can be a massive edge for companies, Brett Winton pointed towards the similarities between innovation now and emerging market investments. Through innovation, Tesla has completely changed the car business, and this is so evident for all to see. With its cutting-edge tech, innovative features, and continuous advancements, the automaker is well-equipped to capitalize on the growing demand for sustainable transportation solutions. As the world shifts towards clean energy and governments implement supportive policies, Tesla is primed to establish substantial growth and maintain its market leadership for years to come. Tesla's dominance and incredible growth potential is one solid reason to hold its stock for the long term. The automaker has solidified its position as the leader in electric vehicle industries, capturing a significant share of the global market. But what about its partnerships? Well, Tesla's partnerships with other companies in the autonomous technology space further amplify its capabilities. Collaborations with experts in robotics, AI, and computer vision enable Tesla to leverage external expertise and accelerate its progress towards achieving full autonomy. There is a lot to expect from Tesla in the coming years, and these could potentially increase the car company's demand, and in the long term, its stock price. Looking ahead, Tesla's growth prospects are undeniably promising. The company's continuous focus on technological advancements, global expansion, and a sustainable energy future positions it to become remarkable for growth prospects in the months and years to come. While Tesla stock may not be at its best price right now, it is still going to be a profitable stock in the long term. In 2020, O'Leary said that Tesla was his best performing stock at the time, while attributing most of this investment to his son, who encouraged him to buy Tesla shares in 2019, stating that the car company is not an automobile company, but rather an AI and data technology company. O'Leary mentioned that companies that are able to stay during the tough times often have potential business models and lower debt levels, allowing them to pass on their incurred costs to consumers and investors. But what do you think? Let us know down below, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there!